What's up everyone, it's Average Owl, making average content for the average viewer. I'm back. I took a couple of weeks off of YouTube over the holidays and if I'm being honest, I really miss making videos and interacting with you guys. So I thought, what better way to kick it back off than a 5 Modern Warfare Tips for New Players video. So it's that time of year again where people have been exchanging gifts and just like every year, there has been an influx of people who woke up blurry eyed Christmas morning to see that Father Christmas had emptied his bulbous sack and thousands of people received Modern Warfare. On a side note, I highly recommend that you leave the buying of games to Santa or your parents. I remember 2015, I asked for the new Fallout game for Christmas from my grandmother. The anticipation overcame me as I struggled to tear the corner of the wrapping. I knew what it was because it was all I asked for, but when the paper finally tore away, my worst fears were realised. Instead of the Xbox One version, my dear old nan had bought the PlayStation version. For fuck's sake. Anyway, I didn't let it ruin my Christmas. It wasn't anything to fall out for. But um. Anyway, I digress. With this new influx of players, I thought I might add my tips to help them along the way. Just bear in mind that if you have found this video because you are new to my channel, then not all of these tips are going to be 100% serious. Also, let's see if we can hit 30 likes on this video, and I'd love to hear in the comments what your favourite gift was this year. So let's get on with it, shall we? Number one, playstyle. Now, a lot of tips you'll find on YouTube will be telling you the most efficient way to play this game. You'll hear buzzwords such as tactical positioning and be more cautious. But I'm not going to beat around the bush here. So what you're really going to want to do, if you really want to find success in Modern Warfare, is to look around the map for a building. Now, once you're in your chosen building, you'll want to cover as many entrances as you can with claymores and then cover another entrance with only your 725 shotgun. But here's the twist. If you get some duct tape and cover the left trigger holding it down, this means that you are constantly aiming down sight. And since you won't be moving at all, it completely frees up your left hand for you to get some KY jelly or your favorite brand of lube and then fist yourself whilst you play. This is good because otherwise this sort of play style will get extremely boring. Number two weapons. Now, in Modern Warfare, we have been blessed with a plethora of new and exciting weapons. These range from riot shields to marksman rifles to assault rifles that you can convert to SMGs. Variety really is the spice of life and Infinity Ward have done an absolutely amazing job of not only giving us a great selection of weapons, but hundreds of different attachments for them, meaning that you can go to town and really create some truly unique class setups. So what I'm going to want you to do is sit down and give yourself about half an hour to really scroll through all these amazing and interesting looking weapons. Make sure you note down your favourite. Then, what I want you to do is write on a piece of paper the coolest and most unique looking build that you can think of with all of the best attachments for your playstyle. Fold that paper up as small as you can. Then put that piece of paper into a little bit of ham left over from Christmas and feed it to any fucking animal of your choice. Then promptly forget every single weapon and exclusively use the M4A1. I mean if variants of this weapon have been used by the US military for nearly half a century it must be good right? Luckily for us Infinity Ward have taken the seemingly daunting task of trialling all of the hundreds of different variants and made it so that pretty much every gun is outclassed by one. So you don't have to worry about grinding all the way up to unlock the SCAR or the AK-47. Be safe in the knowledge that you have everything you'll need before you've even reached level 20. Brilliant. Leveling fast. In the event that for some reason you have used the M4A1 too long and you want to try ranking up or maybe even unlocking some sweet ass unbelievably good looking camos for your gun and want to grind for gold or if you're really feeling a certain class you could try and go for the diamond camos replacement. Stainless steel. Ah oh shit, is that meant to be platinum? Well, if that's your cup of tea, then why not hop into the Shoot the Ship playlist? This consists of two maps, Shoot House and Shipment. Now this year Infinity Ward decided to take a step away from the standard small three lane maps of COD of yesteryear. With the exception of course, 
of Shoot House, which, by all accounts, is a return to the small, three-lane style maps of yesteryear, and as a result became a fan favourite to the point it's literally the only map 80% of the community will enjoy playing. This is great for you because the fast-paced action of the matches you play on Shoot House are amazing for levelling up those guns and your officer rank. But that's only half the deal. With this playlist, the games that aren't on Shoot House, you get to play the fan favourite map, Shipment. Have you ever heard the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Well, Infinity Ward certainly have, and what they did was take a 12-year-old fan favourite map that their community have loved and didn't want changed, and very cleverly, what they did was bend it over, tie it up, and fuck it worse than Ashton Williams did her job of being communications manager for Call of Duty. But it's not all bad. For you newer players, it now gives you the opportunity to hide in one of the many new and improved safe spaces. And whereas before, if you wanted to hide in a crate, you might get shot through it, don't worry, because these crates are now made completely of fucking animantium, so you're completely safe. But wait, there's more. If you get it just right, you can stay in one place with your trigger finger held down and the enemies just straight up spawn in front of you. So handy for getting those levels up and you don't even have to lift a finger. Literally. Spec Ops. So before the game came out, if you followed any of the build up and hype around the game, you may remember hearing that you could level up your character in either multiplayer, Spec Ops or the campaign. And for a lot of people, this is really exciting news because it meant that you would be able to try out these other modes without falling and lagging behind on your multiplayer rank. Awesome, right? Wrong. Now, don't get me wrong, for all of the flaws in this game, the campaign is not one of them. It really is a brilliant story and a great gameplay experience. In fact, as a bonus tip for you all, I would even suggest that you go and play it right now, start to finish in one sitting. You won't be disappointed. Spec Ops, on the other hand, is not such a stellar experience. From the bugs to the impossible difficulty, this game mode is just damn right awful. And on top of this, the XP that you do get from playing this game mode is so tiny and insignificant that you'd probably level up faster if you just ran around in a multiplayer match using only your tongue. So, that's it. That's my top tip here. Just don't play Spec Ops. In fact, act like it doesn't even exist. Now I will just say before I go on, I know I'm slagging this game off a bit here, but I'm only doing it for a laugh. I do really enjoy this game, but I thought it might be funny to try and make a video about the flaws that it has and try and make light of it. So, don't get disheartened if you've only just got this game, you will enjoy it. Just maybe stay off Reddit for a bit. Footsteps. Now, this one is actually more of a genuine tip. I promise. So in Modern Warfare, you may have found yourself running around with your brand new headset on and then when you start a match, you have to hide under your fucking desk because you think that there are hailstones outside the size of watermelons that are about to come through your roof. Well, don't worry. These are just yours and your teammates' footsteps. Things aren't anywhere near as bad as they were at launch, and for the most part, the footsteps are in a much better place than they were a couple of months ago. That being said, a massive tip that has become a crutch for me is using the Dead Silence field upgrade. Now restock and stopping power rounds are great, don't get me wrong, and the drone and barricade can be used for lots of fun run and gun tactics, but honestly, having silent or near silent footsteps in this game is a godsend. I can't count the amount of times where I've managed to pop my dead silence deep into the enemy spawn and managed to get a chopper gun quicker than you can say spawn trap, just because the enemy couldn't hear me. It really is a true blessing. It's just a shame it's not a constant perk. Have fun. Now, I know that this one seems a little bit corny, maybe a bit lazy, but really it is true. It becomes really easy to watch these YouTubers like Blame Truth or Eight Thoughts and get really bogged down in all the negativity surrounding this game. Equally, if you go on the Modern Warfare subreddit, you would be forgiven for thinking that this game might just be the worst game ever made. But I think it's important to remember that people who complain this way are usually the die-hard super hardcore fanbase and, for the most part, the reason that they are so negative is because they have had such high expectations of this game and they've just been let down. Obviously, this game has its flaws, and yes, certain things like the spawn logic and hit registration could have been fixed already, but that doesn't take away from the fact that actually, if you let yourself, you can have a lot of fun here. Just don't let yourself get too bogged down in the negativity. So there we have it, my five Modern Warfare tips for new players. Please don't take this video too seriously. Like most of the things I do in my life, it's only meant for a laugh. 
I just didn't want to make another generic tips video that you can find plenty of and probably get a much better standard elsewhere on YouTube. As many of you know, I like to know who watches these little videos until the end. So today, I would really like you guys to tell me what other games you'd like to see covered on my channel. I love making Call of Duty content for you, but I think going forwards, I'd really like to broaden my horizons and branch out a little. So let me know. Anyway, that's it from me today. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'm Afrajol. Peace.